Um, welcome back to um, Team Draft Week 3. Uh, we'll jump into the Team Piccolo highlights here. First game we've got uh, is Fishy Legs, who uh, sent some recordings this week, which is really good. Um, looks like he's in Ultra League here. Um, Ultra League Prem by the looks of it, and he's using a single moved Honch Crow. Degree of difficulty high. So let's see if he lands this Brave Bird. Most people don't shield Snorlax, bang, look at that Brave Bird go. And now he's straight into his muck. Uh, this will just be a body slam coming through. So, nice. Oh, no, Outrage. Yeah, okay. Very good, yeah. It definitely had more energy than I thought there. Unfortunately, I was uh, trying to say too much. Um, and it wasn't counting moves very well. Okay, so that's the end of Snorlax. Um, Togekiss coming in now. I reckon he can just get to this gunk shot, but the sludge wave. But uh, Captain B should shield this um, and farm down. Oh, he's let that go. Jeepers. Um, that leaves him two shields and an onyx. I don't think he can do it, to be fair. Um, Fishy does well there, swapping out so he doesn't get farmed down. And these crunches will do a fair bit of damage, but head-to-head, -head, especially with um, Frenzy Plant being such a broken move here, I would say that um, he can just take both shields here um, and probably wear a crunch and get to a th potentially a third frenzy and finish this off it's such a busted move and venusaur is very attack weighted so yeah as you can see there um steelix uh even though it's a steel type pokemon um yeah it was like a third from a frenzy and uh venusaur gets them very very quickly so it's uh pretty much game over here and he's let that go realizing it all right next game we've got feeder versus uh chipsy uh, looks like we're in uh, Great League here. Um, just Great League open by the looks. Um, hard counted on the lead there. But Theta's staying in with his Swampert. Now, remember, we're on the 30-second timer at the moment. So these games will be pretty um, heads-up sort of play. And you can't really afford to farm up and stay in for very long because it, uh, it, it uh, desyncs the switch timers, as you'll see here. Um, Chipsy's already got a chance because Theta decided to stay in um, and farm with the Swampert, so... Anyway, um, throwing another Weather Ball here. The Vigoroth will get to the Body Slam um, and just KO. Um, CMP there. I reckon Chipsy will just let this go. He's got that Vigoroth very low and he can just come in and grab a little bit more energy. Definitely needs to, I'd say that's a Shadow A-bomb too, so definitely needs to keep his shields for them. Swamp it coming in now. What we decide to do here, shields that. I reckon that a one-hit KO too, so he's just swapping out straight into A-bomb. And, oh, it's Skarm in the back, okay. Very interesting. So A-bomb's got a bit of a lead on energy here. And uh, I definitely know in the Ultra League version, it's um, A-bomb can win the two-to-one shield. So we'll just have to see... Our, um, and it's got energy uh, advantage too. Now nah, he's swapped out there, and oh, this would be interesting actually because uh, he'll be able to farm down here, um, throw a weather ball here and farm down, and that will leave him with some energy against the scarm. So let's see what happens. So yeah, hits that two, three, oh, farms down. So he's got enough energy to do this. Um, another weather ball coming through. I reckon he's gonna get there. So, first one grabs the shield, and the second one will KO. So, pretty tight game, lost lead, but desyncing the um, <clears throat> the switch timer and having A-bomb in the back, which pretty much nukes everything, um, but doesn't 100% uh, resist it. So, um, good work uh, from Chipsy there. All right, uh, into the next game here, straight into it. It looks like it's uh, Rick Nevolt versus Ash, and looks like we're in Johto here. So um, Ash throws the Blizzard, obviously not terribly effective, and they're pretty, pretty much um, hitting each other with pillows at the moment. Hydro Pump not very effective, but does a little bit more damage. Obviously Azu is a bit more of a tank than Polly, but he saves some energy and he tries to snipe with the Venusaur, but unfortunately here he's absolutely hard countered. And it was a very uh, quick swap there, so there's not going to be enough desync, although um, Ash does have the potential to snipe here because I think he does have a, a Hydro saved up. So with this uh, shorter switch timer, that is the secret to being able to... Um, oh, but he throws. And that's the way to sort of uh, stop it from happening. 
Um, but yeah, the secret to this switch timer is essentially to save a move and then try and snipe on the other side and start to desync the timers. Um, but it hasn't worked on this occasion. Um, Rich is very much onto it and uh, it's look, he's looking in pretty great shape here. Just gonna spam the weather balls. And he's swapped out again, probably not the best move. Not sure what he was trying to do there, but can't, he knows the scum's coming back in. He's just gonna cop that. Um, probably shouldn't have swapped out, but he was trying to keep that alive, knowing the scum's there, but he's gonna cop the ice beam now anyway. So it hasn't really affected too much. And Rich is onto it, he doesn't wanna get farmed down. So he's brought the scum in. He'll take, he'll shield a weather ball here and then go into the back end and it's Umbreon. So he can Brave Bird here. Um, it's gonna leave him, oh yeah, it doesn't shield. It's gonna leave him probably to get um, KO'd here. But as we can see, and now this is super spice, he's got Don Fan in the back. And Don Fan absolutely destroys Umbreon. As you can see, their fast moves damage is crazy. Tries to sack swap, but obviously doesn't know the move count or any of that stuff. Um, and yeah, he was always probably just gonna farm the entire way down. So um, not even gonna throw a move here. Bang, Don Fan for the win. All right, next game we've got Sally Bra versus Dussie. Always a good contest here, but uh, Dussie's always had the upper hand in these matches. Pretty sort of neutral lead here. Oh, Dussie gets the extra vault switch through. Uh, Leaf Wave coming through on the other end. So he lets that one go. And he's going to Focus Blast here, which is actually resisted. So probably better off going for the Thunder Punches there. But just let that go. Um, and he's going to go for the Farm down here, but it's going to cost him a shield. So was probably better off just throwing the Thunder Punches there because he's lost Switch and she's not going to give much farm to his Gallade. So as long as she's got an answer here, uh, and Polion, wouldn't say it's 100% an answer. Um, he's throwing the Leaf Blade here. Um, let's see what she decides to do. Let's that guy. Hopefully she knows her move count. I would have, uh, if she, if he got the nuke there, it would have been all over. Anyway, now he's, he's going to let that guy. Um, and that leaves Venusaur in the back. Okay, so this is pretty interesting. Um, maybe an aggressive farm down. He shield once and aggressively farm down. So, let's see if he could have done one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, look, I think he probably could have actually farmed it down there, but he's thrown at the last second. Have to see what's in the back. Um, and it's Snorlax. Okay, Shadow Snorlax. All right, so yeah, pretty much game over here. Um, unfortunately, um, uh, he'll be able to get to three... Um, he'll be able to get to three Frenzy Plants, but um, with the shield, uh, yeah, unfortunately... Uh, She'll be able to get to the body slam that'll KO in a minute. So, looks like it's all over here. Um, let's just see here. So, she'll shield this one, and she must be at the body slam right now, and that'll KO. So, pretty tight game. Pretty tight game. Um, but, yeah, uh, well played in the end um, to Sally Bra there. And uh, it's not easy to beat Dus, so take that win for sure. All right, so now we're going to go into Team Antag highlights. Um... They've been catching up on Team Piccolo, so we'll have to see what they've got for us today. Um, all right, so it looks like we've got um, Chipsy versus Antag here. Not an ideal lead for Chipsy here, um, unless he's got running Shadow Ball. So the um, Meteor Mash is coming through. He shields there. And what's he trying to do? He's swapped out. Okay, he swapped out, but uh, not bad. He's caught the move on the Snorlax, um, but yeah, we'll have to see. Actually, you know what? We'll have to wait till the Mewtwo comes back in, but I think that was actually not running Psycho Carp. We'll have to check that one when it comes back in. It just looked a bit weird with the animation, so we'll just double check, and it would explain why he couldn't really get to a move, or why he didn't throw anything. All right, so uh, Mewtwo comes back in here. This should be a side strike. Oh, he's got Ice Beam. Oh, very nice. And he's swapped straight out again into the Mamo. Uh, this would be a Dragon Claw coming through now. Can definitely take it, but probably doesn't want to. Uh, where's that one? But unfortunately, this is just Hard Counter City here. He's going to throw the Bulldoze, which will get the shield. Um, but yeah, I'm just... Maybe he would be set up for a decent... No, no, it's going to farm him down. He doesn't let it. 
Um, throws the medial match here, which he's got the shield for. I would still just need to see the fast move there. Yeah, no, he's running, um, he's running, uh, confusion, which, yeah, not ideal for, um, not ideal at all for Mewtwo, and yeah, he's gonna get absolutely smashed here, unfortunately. Uh, Mamo in the back's just gonna get, yeah, Metagross OP there, but, uh, yeah, wrong move set on Mewtwo there. Definitely don't want to be running that. All right, um, now we've got a reverse picture in the Dusa Saga. We did see Sally Bra win one. All right, so let's see what happens here. Stay in a long time here. Um, he's going to throw the body slam. And she's letting that one go through. Um, and now he's throwing the body slam here. She wears that one. Um, this will probably let this one go, I imagine. Uh, the Snorlax has done enough to stay to the switch timer. And so, yeah, hopefully Sally Brow's on to this. If not, this is KO. Oh, needed to invest a shield there, had to. And yeah, her Gallade's already very low. Um, Gengar can probably come in. Gallade doesn't even throw a move. And Snorlax in the back. We've got chance, he's just gonna two shield. Two, two shield flex, probably didn't even need to throw the move there, just counter it all the way down. So first, body slam coming through, shield's here. It's already at the the Shadow Snorlax. And she's getting to the second move now. It's all over though. Um, yeah, even the, so the, the next move will come through, shielding here, and I think she finds the final move, so yeah. Didn't even need to throw him out there, would have been slightly quicker than to throw, but dang, see you later. Oh, sorry, that was Dussy doing that. So, yeah, uh, gets his own back there, and I think he won that fixture 2-1. All right, so now we've got the Mr. Smithy, who we haven't seen much of, versus Semi-Naked Chef, who's definitely one of the top in the division. All right, so a tricky matchup here, but Chef's not running Rock Slide, so I would say that puts this in the Ho-O's favour, but um, doesn't shield the Thunderbolt, probably should have there. And he's getting to the superpower now, and we haven't heard a hide or hair of the ho oh, oh yeah. So obviously it just lets that completely go. Um, okay, coming in with Metagross now. Chef's made an aggressive swap into Garchomp, which he probably couldn't afford to do there because he's got no reply on the other end. And this Togekiss, um, oh, sorry, this uh, Gyarados will be able to get rid of, uh, rid of uh, this um, Garchomp. I'm just, sorry, I'm just trying to work out the matchups. So, yeah, okay, he swaps out there. He's being aggressive on the swaps. Shields the crunch. Definitely didn't need to shield the crunch. And now the, um, Metagross is getting some serious farm here. Um, it's interesting. This match is more and more looking, oh, he's throwing an earthquake there. Definitely don't throw the earthquake on a flyer. Maybe he's only got it single moved. And then he's coming back in here. He's getting to another move here. Is this going to be earthquake again? But with this Metagross alive and um, with the Garchomp now dead, uh, it's looking very much like he could take this. Swaps out. Yep, good play. Throws the superpower there. Not sure about that. Probably need to throw a Thunderbolt. If he doesn't, sh yeah, see, Thunderbolt would have actually KO'd there. And now he's going for another superpower here and debuffing himself. So now, and now swapping into the Togekiss. Now, um, strange as it may seem, Mr. Smith is going to get this. All he needs to do is shield here and farm the Metagross down and then Earthquake the Mel Metal. So in a weird way, sacking his ho in a weird indirect way has worked here. So pretty interesting game, I have to say. Um, so this would be Earthquake coming through. See you later, Mel Metal. So yeah, um, look, probably a few uh, mistakes made in that game, but a very, very tight contest. All right, let's uh, look at some team feeder highlights now. So first game here... Uh, we have um, Chipsy versus Theta. Theta's head's cut off in this one. Um, all right, so once again, we're in uh, Open Great League, and it looks like um, Theta's got the Swampert on the lead there. Staying in again um, and throwing out. Very similar to that game he lost, so we'll just have to see how this one plays out differently. Um, Chipsy's just going for the nuke here, um, and to be honest with you, it's 
probably better to go the weather ball, I think. But he did get the nuke through. But I'm, I'm not sure energy efficiency-wise whether um, perhaps just going for the water move is more efficient. Particularly as he might have shielded. But anyway, uh, a bit of a dance there and the Swampert's come back in. And Chipsy's going to let this one go. So he can come in and align Swampert with the A-bomb now. Um, he'll just have to see what Feeder's got in the back here to see how this contest goes. But... Um, Peter's shielded there, uh, and he's throwing now. This would just be a hydro, I reckon, but definitely worth throwing. Oh, he's shielded, yep. So, yeah, definitely worth throwing there. So, weather ball coming through. Doesn't need to shield this. Um, so, he's got enough energy there. He's building up more, and he's swapping out. Okay. Now, he's he's forcing the um, Politoe to throw here. And once again, he's going for the nuke. And so it's out of energy, and in comes... Oh, this is really interesting. Okay, so um, the Vigoroth's definitely going to be able to farm this thing down, and it's going to get a bit of a bit of um, a chunk out of the A-Snow, but I also think that he's got a lot of energy on that Swampert in the back. Yeah, okay, he did. Yep, yep, this would be Sludge. So well played. Perfect energy management from Theta there. That was an absolutely textbook play game. Well done. All right, uh, now we've got Hawk Aussie versus Zantag. Um, obviously, we saw a game in the reverse fixture against these two, so Dragon lead from Hawk here. Pretty neutral, this sort of matchup. Obviously, the Mewtwo um, demands that you shield but it um, by outpacing, but obviously, the, the Dragon Claws here, he'll have to shield this, and if he wants to commit a shield here, he can probably Dragon Breath down. So let's see what happens. No, Antag swapping out and getting in with the Mel Metal. Um, staying in there, he does have that Garchomp. Probably straight into the Garchomp would be the go and keep that charge move for the Mel for the uh, Mewtwo. But anyway, he's um, he's just chipped it down a bit here. But he did allow it to get energy, so he's throwing the Superpower here. He's just looks like just trying to buy time for the switch timer there. But he's what's he gone into now? He's gone back into Mewtwo. Yeah, he's gone into Mewtwo. He's throwing the Sand Tomb and staying in. He's definitely going to have to shield here. He's going to need this Garchomp later for sure. Um, but he can probably look to um, swap out now. Um, it's attacks decreased and he manages to Dragon Breath down before it gets to another move. Only problem is this Mel, Mel Metal's here. So let's see what he decides to do here. Um, oh, it's a Rock Slide Bait, so... Very interesting, but this will definitely be the superpower. Um, let's see if he decides to superpower and dip here. Does, and is he, he's throwing the Iron Head here. Uh, obviously won't KO, doesn't require a shield, uh, but he does draw the shield, so that's well played. And now he's gone to the Garchomp and he's Sand Tombing here. Okay, so let's see how this works out. This is, oh, it's Dialga. Okay, so now if he can get to this Outrage, he will KO the Dialga. This is very tight. He's just got to make sure that his uh, Garchomp doesn't get... What's going to happen here? No, he's gone straight. Yep, that's clever. And this would be a Rock Slide, I imagine. Because uh, Antag won't want to have debuffed himself. So, yeah, well played there. And can he get to the Iron Head? He can. Yep, so very well played. Um, Hawk was all over it in that one. So, managed to get one back there. All right, and now we turn to the results. Um, because of some forfeits, uh, the lead has definitely decreased. Um, things are looking tight at the top there. Um, Team Theta still bringing up the uh, third position at the moment. Some great games coming up next week. See you then.